Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Out of Ammo, Out of Time. I'm your host, as always, Krabby Terror 8 and here we are in the Investigator Games Season 1 Elder Sign Omens Edition, and uh, Bob Jenkins is here to uh, go through the Investigator Games and see how he goes. Now for those of you who are new to the channel, I welcome you. Yeah, the Investigator Games is like the Hunger Games, so each Investigator, we take them true solo through these games. In this case, Elder Sign Omens. I also do this for Arkham Horror, the card game, and also Eldritch Horror. And we see how they go. Now, depending on how they go, based on how far the Doom Track has gone, and uh, various other measures, they end up in a table like this one. Yes, and we can see here the investigators are ranked from best to worst. Uh, and by the end of the season, uh, this season is versus Yig. We will see how they've gone. And the winner, of course, will be showered in glory. Uh, the investigator at the bottom will be hang their head in shame. And then we'll start all over again uh, in another season with a new Elder God. Uh, spoilers, if you haven't played Elder Signs, I really would encourage you to play it either in real life or indeed the iOS or the Steam version, which I'm playing on Steam. It's really fantastic. Um, if you haven't played it before, I would encourage you to do that first. Sort of like uh, Call of Cthulhu meets uh, Yahtzee would be the best way to describe it. But it's a lot of fun and the expansions are really great as well. So I very much recommend it. A uh, bit of a palate cleanser after playing something like Eldritch Horror or Arkham Horror, the card game, which are much more challenging in some ways. Um, but it has its own challenges as well. So here we are with Bob. Bob is a dealer. I'm assuming they mean an art dealer. I'm, I'm, you can't quite see the picture here, but I think he's got a glass of scotch in his hand, cigarette in the other hand. So he doesn't look like a drug dealer. So I think when it says shrewd dealer, I think they mean a dealer in rare artworks and things. I don't know much about the lore around Bob. Uh, I've not come across him in other Arkham Files games, but I'm assuming that's the kind of dude he is. I don't know that it gives a background on Bob. No, it doesn't. So anyway, Bob is a shrewd dealer, apparently. It could also mean he's very good with cards. I doubt it, though. But anyway. So bottom line is... He's got uh, 6 health, 4 mental strength, so pretty good. More on the health side. And whenever Bob gains one or more common items, he receives an extra common item. They're the yellow yellow ones with the gun on them. Uh, he And he has... Uh, he's got some... He's pretty good starting hand here. He's got the Tommy gun, which is a red and yellow glyph. He's got a cigarette case, which is a common item. And then he's got another... Um, unique item here which is an alien statue so uh, anything which is a common item he he uh, he gains an extra one which is really really good because one of the challenges sometimes with uh, Elder Sign Omens is that you can end up using up your resources for not much return so definitely that's a very helpful uh, thing to have he starts with no money of course and let's uh, let's close uh, Bob down here and just have a look at the uh, Bob Down. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the museum and the layout. And I can immediately see, oh my goodness, we have a locked green glyph, which is never, which is always bad. <laughs> but luckily we've got lots of things in our kit bag, kit bag to manage that. So we're here at the entrance. So I'm just going to go around the houses and uh, see what we have and what, what we're working with. Um, and the first one here that comes up is stay away from the windows. So um, double elder sign, very nice. Uh, this is certainly one to go with once we've gotten our green glyph back. There's quite a bit of downside to it, but it's definitely some upside as well. So that's good for, a, for two elder signs. The key to beyond is good as well to do relatively early because it gives you uh, another world location which are usually really really good 
Um, it's tough though. This is tough. It's not so much the downside of failing, but every terror you draw uh, takes away a sanity. We're only on four sanity. Uh, and on top of that, it's um, it's an ordered effect, so you have to do this one first before you do this one. So this this one, you would want a fair amount of re-rolls, at the very least, to do. So on the surface, the downside doesn't look too bad, but this is actually quite a difficult one to pull off. The gate to elsewhere, another one within... So we've uh, seen quite a few otherworldly locations... This one's pretty good. The downside isn't too bad, but you've got to get three scrolls. So uh, again, you'll need re-rolls and things like that for this one. But that's not too bad either. Uh, this is where the green glyph is locked. Did you hear that? Oh boy, so we've got to get three skulls for this one. Uh, a monster comes out. So, you know, we've got to address this one. It would be good to have re-rolls though because of the number of skulls that you've got to get for this one. And then the missing records, and there are some re-rolls right there. I forget what the shoe print's called. I just call them re-rolls, but um, this would be a good one to start with because, you know, we should be able to do it with what we've got. The downside's not too bad. Once we've got the re-rolls, then we can then go and do this one because I think this one without re-rolls can be just a little bit tricky. Uh, ancient Relics... Yeah, this feels like this This is a lot of work and a lot of downside for not a lot of benefit. So I don't know about that one. And then we're back to the entrance. Okay, so that's where we're at with everything. Um, we do need to deal with the green glyph locked. So I'm thinking we could go directly and try and do this one with what we have. So we could start with a yellow and a red glyph in place. Uh, the other alternative is we try and do this one which is relatively easy, um, and then we go and do the other one. I'm thinking that might be a more prudent course of action. That's my feeling, because this one we've got to get three skulls. Um, hmm. It's really a toss-up. I, I just would feel safer with some re-rolls, to be honest. Is, is there any... No, it's just green glyph. Okay, so let's start with this one. Let's start with the missing records. The missing records. What does it say about it? Unbelievable. The fact that someone had tried to hide this ledger proves that this horrid collection of cursed relics was gathered in full knowledge of their terrible significance. That's quite a long sentence, but yes. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to commit... Um, because we don't, we're already missing a green glyph, so we're going to commit both. Let's see how we go. Um, so I'll probably do that first. Yep. So we just need to get six now. Uh, three. For, no, it is three, four, five, six. So a bit over egged, but the important thing is we got these re rolls. Yep. There we go. And we're off and running. Crag goes wild. So the next thing to do with Bob is to get ourselves rid of that green glyph. What did we get, by the way? Is this the new one? We'll just have a look. So we got this forgotten knowledge. This isn't too bad if you need some extra resources. So that's not too bad, but we're not going to focus on that at the moment. We're going to try and get rid of this green glyph. Did you hear that? Okay. So we are going to put up the yellow and the red. We're using up our resources a bit here, but we really need to. We nearly need our green glyph lock back because um, undone because it's really quite nasty. So we've got to get three skulls. We've got a couple of re rolls. Let's see how we go. Oh, and there's the two skulls. Maybe I was being a bit overly worried about the whole thing. And um, let's go again. And there we go. We did it. We didn't even need the two re-rolls. Oh, we got some nice things. Okay. But we got a monster out of it as well. That's all right. Okay. So there we go. So things are moving nicely along. I think we can, yeah, we can activate this, which gives us an, another world adventure. So we might as well put that out, which is Yagoth. Very nice. 
This is a bit of a theme with this one. There's lots of that. So all we've got now is three re-rolls. Now remember, Bob gets extra um, common items. Are they common or just uncommon items, I should say? Uh, so let's just have a look again. So this one uh, is fine, but it doesn't doesn't give us anything and we probably need some extra resources for that one so we can hold that one aside. Yagoth here, wow. This is pretty amazing but um, you wouldn't want to do this one without some extra things and just re-rolls. Very nice. Um, hidden threat is pretty good so there's a common item so if we do this one um, uh, we will get two common items and a unique item and an elder sign. So I'm f this is looking really good. I think we'll be doing that one. There's that key to beyond, which is quite tricky. There's the gate to elsewhere, which is tricky-ish. And then we have the forgotten knowledge, which is okay, but no um, uncommon items. So uh, less of a benefit for Bob. Uh, <laughs> Ancient relics is not looking particularly uh, attractive now. I think we'll leave that one. So I think it's pretty obvious which one we will do. We will do the hidden threat. Okay, the hidden threat, Snake Man. I've been playing The Witcher 2 lately and uh, he kind of looks like Geralt in a in a fedora and a raincoat in that shot. But anyway, um, let's have a look later. All I would recall of the stranger who asked me for the time was the snake around his neck. Some of these uh, sentences are a bit convoluted, aren't they? Anyway, so let's... Um, we, we've, we, we've basically... Oh, we've got a re-rolls, but I'm hoping we won't need those. So let's just see how we go. There's a skull. Easy. We'll roll again. And we get another skull. Easy. What keeps coming up? Oh, if I want to re-roll. Okay, so we just need to get four now. Ooh, okay. Um, what do we do here? We could, could throw... Yeah. I'm actually thinking that we will use a re-roll here. Not for the one, of course. For the others. There we go. It just felt like if we reduced it down, then the, we might get into a situation where we're just not getting the numbers that we needed. But look at that. Two uncommon items. Very nice haul from all that. Fantastic. So that's really good. And I think that... Uh, uh, the hedge maze. I think... Do we have time to deal with the hedge maze or is it midnight? No, no, we do have time. So just when we thought we were going to get somewhere, the... The hedge maze pops up, which has a midnight effect. Minus one stamina to the team. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, and actually, the upside here is quite good, even though it's a monster. Um, yeah, so it's one of those ones that, that sort of can really kind of mess you around if you let it go too long. Let me have a look. So there's the hedge maze, which we could do. We've got lots of items to do that one. And the downside is pretty small, although it does put another monster. We would end up again with another two uncommon items and an Elder Sign. So that would be a nice way to finish the first round. Uh, forgotten Knowledge. Um, if we were low on resources, I would probably go for that one. But I, I just don't think we need to do that at the moment. Ancient Relics, forget that. that those ancient relics are going to stay ancient and relic. Uh, the entrance, no. Stay away from the windows. I do want to do this one. I just don't think we need to do this one at the moment. Um, Yugoth. Yeah, actually, Yugoth looks pretty good. Um, two Elder Sign. Yeah, this one looks almost too good to pass up, actually. And there's a possibility that if we leave it, that a monster will appear there, making it more difficult. So I'm actually thinking that's probably the one to do. Key to Beyond, we could do because it get another world um, or get, get to elsewhere. Yeah, and the Hedge Maze. I'm thinking, I think we go for Yugoth. I think it's a good one. So let's go with Yugoth. Yes, Yugoth. 
I found myself in a cold, dark place. When I looked to the sky, gods, when I looked to the sky, the sun was so small, so distant, I could feel all the miles between myself and home. Are these actual um, from the books, from Lovecraft books? Um, that's very strange wording there. I found myself in a cold, dark place. When I looked to the sky, gods, when I looked to the sky, the sun was so small, so distant, I could feel all the miles between myself and home. Um, hmm. Anyway, okay, so here we are. So I think we uh, we go and obviously we'll put in a unique, uh, we might as well go the whole hog. I've got two re-rolls. We should do this comfortably, he says. So let's roll up and see what we get. Okay, so I'm thinking the first thing we do is we do this one. Uh, we can't really hold. I mean, I could have actually thrown something away and held the wild card, but I don't think that's necessary. Uh, no, it's not. Four. There we go. Easy. Four, seven, eight. Done. There we go. Look at that. Lots and lots of goodies. Okay. So that's a pretty good opening round. I was a bit worried about the green glyph, but Bob has really come to the fore after the first um, round. It's midnight. Bong. A doom and a monster. <laughs> Yig's bringing out the heavy guns here. So, um, but that's all right. Oh, and we lose a stamina. Okay. That's all right. We'll always have to deal with that, but um, yeah, I think it was worth doing that. So... Yeah, pretty good first round, actually. We're already up to three Elder Signs. Um, the only thing we've got to be careful with is we don't end up with massive numbers of monsters. That can happen. Ah, here we go. We can have a steak dinner and um, give ourselves an extra sanit uh, sanity stamina. So we offset the um, midnight effect anyway. So no biggie. Okay, so... What do we do now? So that's pretty good. We're already a third of the way there. So uh, things are going well for Bob. Um, we've got to think about what we do now. See, we could do this one. The problem is, is that we would be using up our resources and we get nothing back. So this is kind of a good finisher because, you know, but it doesn't, it's better to do something that's going to actually give you stuff. Uh, if we had relatively few resources, I would maybe think about this one. Uh, or indeed, if um, if there was no other elder signs, that's also worth doing as well. There's the hedge maze, which I think is a pretty good one actually. I'm thinking we should get rid of this because we don't want this hanging around. Uh, yeah, forgotten knowledge. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll do the hedge maze. Let's get this one done. Let's get it out of the way, even though it'll put another monster on the table. Uh, better than taking stamina hits every single go. I have walked this maze dozens of times. I could find my way blindfolded. How could I have possibly gotten so lost? Mm, indeed. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to need some re-rolls on this. I think I'm just going to commit a yellow glyph to it. And probably lean into the re-rolls a little bit more, at least at first. So let's see how we go. Well, that's not. <laughs> that's a pretty rubbish start. Let's uh, roll everything up and try again. Uh, well, we get one. Um, mm, 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 but no two. So that's not great either. I think I'm going to re-roll everything except the skull. Really bad rolls there. Oh, now we've got so many skulls we don't know what to do with them all. Um, yeah, let's commit two skulls. So all we need now is a skull and a two. Hopefully we can find that. Well, no, but let's put a two in and let's see if we can get a skull. Come on, skull. I'm going to have to use a red glyph and I don't want to have to... Oh my God, this is going really badly. I'm going to have to commit a red glyph, and this might be all a waste of time, but there we go. <laughs> wow, that was much more difficult than it should have been, but never mind. We got lots of stuff in the process, and we've gotten rid of the um, gotten rid of the glyph, but there are now three monsters on the table, so yes, things are not looking as rosy as they were. 
so what have we got in our kit bag? We have got a reasonable amount, including a way of getting rid of a monster, so we should use that to our advantage. Again, I think we keep that one for later. Um, actually, I'm thinking this one might be quite good because, uh, or would it? Um, eh, uh, not really, no. Um, because the problem with this one is, yes, we can get rid of this maniac, but we've still got to do this and then do that, and we don't have any rerolls. We've used them all. The gate to elsewhere is a little bit easier now, although it would cost us a doom. This is a new one, Becoming Other. Hmm. Sounds quite good, actually. Because, again, we would get two common items. Yeah. Forgotten Knowledge. This is good, but it doesn't give us any... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. I think the Becoming Other one is one that we, I think we should go for. Let's try this one. You know, moving the Elder Signs forward in every go is really helpful. For a moment she stared at me in horror, then her eyes changed and she slowly smiled. Ooh, that's a bit creepy, isn't it? Okay, let's commit a yellow glyph to this. Can't commit a red glyph, obviously. Let's see how we go. Okay, so I think... Ooh, what do we do first? Do we do the three and this, or do we do a skull and a four? I think we go with the hardest thing, which is the skull and the four. Look, unfortunately, we can't hold something back. Um, there's the two, so we need a law and a three. No. So we can hold the three and just hope we get the law, and we don't, so we actually fail. Oh dear. It's not the end of the world. It's not a terrible thing to fail, but it's more that we used up all those resources. So in this second round, things are not going as well as they were. Um, so I think the problem is, is without re-rolls, hmm. I'm actually thinking we might do this one. Let's do Forgotten Knowledge and get a few more resources. Hopefully we don't have to use too many up to do it. Uh, I think we take the yellow, we roll it, and then I think we get rid of the cultist. Yep. Okay, what should we start with? Terra. Oh, it's an eight, isn't it? Oh, God, I didn't realize. Well, let's get rid of that. Ooh, dear. This is not good. Let's throw something away. I don't want to hold any of those. Um, no, this is not looking good. I don't think we're going to do this. No, we're not. No. Nope. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but we that's two we've failed now. We're really not doing well, Bob. What's going on? Can give ourselves... So we now have gone from tons of resources to no resources. Midnight is going to click around. What are we going to do? That was a mistake. Dear. Maybe we... We've got ten, so we can spend some money... But is there something that's relatively... There isn't. There's nothing particularly... So I think what we're going to do is we are going to go to here. We're going to go to the souvenir shop. What should we buy? I think we buy a unique item. Yes, that was a, that was a very disappointing round. We really kind of... Things went off the rails. We were doing so well. Um, and uh, things have gone off the rails where monsters are coming thick and fast. So things were going well for uh, Bob for a while there. And now we're... Uh, I think what I might do is I might spend a bit more money and get ourselves a re-roll. So I'm going to do that first. So we've got a red and a re-roll. And then I am going to try... Oh dear, that's got a oh dear. Let's do this one again and get us try and get ourselves some more resources. So let's put the red one up. 
and let's roll up. Um, oh, if only we'd gotten Terra. So let's let's put in the law. So we've done that. So we just need a Terra and eight. So we can re-roll because we've got four, seven, eight. Let's hopefully we get a Terra with these. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw that in and keep the three. No. Oh dear. We're not even getting the um uh no. We failed again. Oh my goodness, this is this has gone from great to terrible, literally overnight. Okay, I'm going to have to spend some more money because if we don't, we're not going to get anything. There's no kind of really easy, easy wins here. Um, which one of these? Maybe that one. Okay. So that was a complete wasted round. Bob's, uh, Bob, unfortunately, he's uh, really struggling now. Um, I mean... It's not the end of the world, but things are not going well. So what have we got here? We've got a red glyph, and that's that's really good. So we've got a real opportunity now to really make a difference with something. So I think... Hmm. <sighs> but we spent a lot of money to do it. Hmm. So either we could do this becoming other and get ourselves more stuff. That looks good. Or we do this one and try and get ourselves more stuff this way. Um, I'm going to try this one again because I want more resources. So hopefully we can do this without spending too many resources, I'm hoping. So I'm going to put that in and hopefully we can get what we need for, here we go, there we go, we got it. Oh, there we go, we've got a whole lot of stuff, so hopefully now, and that will throw things along, the administration office as I remember is fairly easy, Let's see what this is doing, this is saying... Well, we're not going to use that yet because that's a max stamina. Let's just have a look at this administration office. No, that's not what I... Okay, so the administration office is basically just gives you an elder... No, that's no good. That's no good. Let's go back to the map. That's not helpful at all. Let's, let's um, have a look here. So the admin office here is easy, but it doesn't give you, a, well, it gives you a re-roll if you fail. So if you were gonna do this, you would fail and it kind of cost you a sanity to do it. Um, key to beyond, it would be good to do one of these ones because it would give us extra impetus. Um, I don't know which one is better. Um, this one's easier to do. So I think we would do gate to elsewhere. So gate to elsewhere is one. This one's actually quite good as well, so becoming other, because it would give us more resources. No, we're not going to do that one. Um, no, we're not going to do that one. The administration office is not really worth doing. So I think I think we do the gate to elsewhere first, because I think we can do this and we can get some extra resources. So let's start with the gate to elsewhere. Let's bring up, let's give ourselves a red glyph for this one. Let's see how we go. So there we go. We can, yeah, we don't even need to use these because we can use the wild card and we can give ourselves two law. And then all we need to do, it's really easy, is that there we go. So yes, we took a doom for it, uh, which uh, is not great, but you know, it now means we've got, we've broken free and oh, we got some good new things, another dimension, and I think the, uh, 
and all the signs. So there we go. We didn't use too many resources there. We've still got a reasonable number. So let's just see uh, what we got. So stay away from the windows. We'll keep that for later. Admin office we're not going to do. We could do it at the end maybe. Key to beyond. We could also do that one. But now that we've got some places becoming other. Elder sign. Here we go. This one's a good one. Um, because we can uh, we can put the doom back one and increase it. That's a really nice one. And then there's another dimension, which would be really good for us as well. So both of those are good. Um, let's go with this one first, another dimension. This is relatively easy to do. So let's go ahead and do another dimension. Another dimension. There are many places, many shapes of things that are undreamt of by men. And I'm assuming women as well. Um, so, uh, no. Okay, so let's just roll up and see how we go. Uh, not good. <laughs> I think we uh, we roll everything up except maybe the uh, terror. There we go. So I think uh, I think this is what we do. We put that in, and then I know this is like being really conservative. We hold the law, and we roll up again. And we didn't need. Oh, we do. <laughs> we get yes we get there it is the law and the one there we go nice lots of stuff okay we seem like we're back on track things got really really nasty there for a moment but it looks like we're back on track um oh lots of stuff look at all this now fantastic okay good um, 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 um okay so i think the next thing to do was the other one which was this one the elder sign one, I feel like we can do this and then we can heal ourselves up. We've got some ways to heal. Um, I think we can already do this one. Give ourselves that back. This one puts you back at max health, so we wouldn't use it at the moment. So we do this one. This one's a really good one to do. I really like this one. This is always positive when we get this one. It was already here, crafted properly, and it need all it needed was my body and a soul to sacrifice. Okay, so what are we going to put up? Let's put a yellow glyph up here. Um, yep, let's roll it up. Okay, and we can <laughs> we start with nothing. Um, let's re-roll. I was hoping we wouldn't have to re-roll yet, but there we go. There we go. There's the re there's that. We lose the sanity, <gasps> but that's okay. Now we need another law. There it is. Ow! We take some health. So we just need a law and a two now. So let's roll it up. And we don't get any of those. Now we could use this if we have to. But I'm going to chuck this in. Keep the two. And hopefully we get the law and there it is. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so the doom goes back by one. We get an elder sign. We get a couple of re-rolls. Fantastic. Okay. That's good. All right, so... Uh, that was that things started off really badly, but we got into a much better place. Um, it's now doom time, bong, and it's no mythos effect. Okay, so we get let off the hook this time. Nice. So here we are. We've only got to get four more elder signs now. So uh, let's see if we can achieve that. We've got a reasonable amount of resources. So let's have a look. Well, there's two. So there's two. What's our money looking like? We've got eight. So we can buy one. So actually, we only need three. So that's one to do again at the end. So there's three of them. So maybe that's all we need. Um, there's that one, of course. Yeah, so I'm actually thinking, which one do we start with? The problem with this one is it creates a monster if we succeed. So maybe we should start with stay away from the windows. Um, yeah, let's start with stay away from the windows. Okay. As much as I fear the dark places among the exhibits, I fear the pools of pale moonlight even more. I have learnt all too well to stay away from the ornate windows throughout the museum. Okay, now we've got re-rolls and things. Ooh, the eight. That's actually quite hard. I didn't realize. 
because to get an eight, you need at least three threes. And then two Scott. This is actually really hard to do without a glyph. So I'm actually sorry. I've changed my mind. I don't. I think we need something else. I think we do this one. I think we try and get ourselves some extra resources in the first instance. Let's do it. Because otherwise, stay with that. Like getting eight is actually really quite difficult. Okay. So let's. Um, Let's roll it up. Not a great start, but there we go. There's the two. Do we hold anything? No, I don't think we do. There's the skull. Or at the very least, we want to get rid of the um, monster. Do we want to hold anything? Yes, we do. So let's hold the skull and let's hold the three. So we should be able to do this. There we go. Skull three four there we go pretty good got some nice stuff that's great we're up to seven now so um and we can buy one so that's good let's check here yep we can buy one um okay have we got enough now to stay away from the windows i think we do i think we can do that next so let's do the stay away from the windows. What did we get? It was the eye one. Where is it? This one, a terrible discovery. This isn't too bad. Um, we might do that one after stay away from the windows. So that's the next one. In fact, I don't think we do. If we get stay away from windows, we can buy the last one. So we're nearly done. As long as we can do this one, it's all over Red Rover. Stay away from the windows. Okay, here we go. Let's put a yellow glyph out and a red glyph out. There we go. Okay, let's roll it up. Oh, wow, what an awful roll. <laughs> what a terrible roll. Let's, uh, let's roll them all again, I think. Well, there we go. We've got the three, seven, eight. Whoop. Didn't, didn't, no, what's it? Three, five, seven, eight. There's the eight. So all we need now are two skulls. Well, there's one skull. So look, we might as well just put one of these in for a skull. And there we go. It's done. Easy. Okay, there we go. There's the nine. Ladies and gentlemen, go back to the shop and go, an elder sign, please. Hello? What do you mean? Yeah, we buy an elder sign and it's all done. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, yes, so things um, things started off really well. Then they went really badly uh, and then uh, they kind of came good again. So it took 18 turns. I really thought he was going to do that faster, actually. Um, we, um, yes, um, it looks like there was, we'd only used up four doom by the end though. Um, but I don't think we did it particularly fast, but anyway, you'll be able to see on the table after this, how Bob did. Uh, so let's see who, uh, will be taking through the investigator games, elder sign omens next time. So next time with Yig, it will be the, uh, will be the um, privilege to pilot um, Amanda Sharp, the studious Amanda Sharp, through Elder Sign Omens, and we will see how she goes then. But until then, I'm Krabby Terror 8. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.